Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, for the very first time, we're going to be exploring some liminal space maps in VR. Now, I'm really excited for this because it's something that I haven't actually tried yet, and I'm really curious to know how the VR aesthetic will work when I'm actually experiencing it for myself. Now, this first map is one that I'm really excited about. It's kind of a special map because it was actually made by a user in the community Discord. GM Liminal Schlup was made by Papa Schlup and actually posted updates on the map as he was making it, uh, which I didn't really look too closely at, mainly because I wanted to go in blind. I wanted this to be the first map that I tried in VR. Now I look around this map, and there are two things that I notice right off the bat. Well, three things, actually. One is that it kind of goes off of an observation I made in the Understanding Liminal Spaces video, in that it's a larger room that is furnished, but not fully. There's furniture, but only in one little corner, and the rest of it is just totally empty, which I think I've never been able to pin down why, but I do believe that adds kind of an uncanny and eerie feeling to a space. Number two, the drone of the electric lighting. Now, that sound is something that I definitely have come to associate with the liminal aesthetic, mainly because it makes me think of being trapped in an office building overnight. Especially if you're in like a windowless area, so you have no idea how long it's been. All you know is that that sound has just been grating on you the entire time. Number three, that. Now that may just be like a carpet decal over this other carpet, but I don't know. I don't trust the, I don't trust the slightly off color rectangle on the ground here. And maybe we'll reveal something later. I don't know. I can't exactly pinpoint why, it just... I don't know, I don't trust it. Alright, well, let's get a move on. Yes! Yes, okay, so if I'm remembering correctly, this map was actually made directly in response to some of the things I said in some of my earlier liminal space analysis videos. I can definitely see the inspiration. So look at what we have here. We have these sort of pristine office hallways, but there's something off about it. The walls are perfectly, the walls are like perfectly mathematically angular, but there's something weird where it's like janky. They're not straight. They go at all these weird angles that make them have a lot of blind corners. And within those hallways, there's spaces where the light doesn't reach. So even though we had these lights which cast, you know, perfect light that illuminates the whole area, there's just enough gaps between them that creates areas of darkness. And even though we can still see perfectly, those shadows create kind of an unnerving feeling. Uh, aiding that unnerving feeling is, uh, you know, in my video, Understanding Liminal Spaces, I never really got to the bottom of why this was. But there seems to be a recurring theme of these kind of 80s and 90s, like, recurring carpet patterns just stretching off for a long way. I can't even really comment on what makes those work, because I, I don't really know. I'm at a loss. I've also long thought that something that aids in the liminal aesthetic is just... is a space that is just barely not pristine. So here we have these clean and sterile walls, this totally stain-free carpet, but there is, like, kind of grime on the wall just right here, and nowhere else that I can see. Okay. And it feels, I mean, I'm looking around, I'm kind of overwhelmed by just how many directions I'm being pulled in. So normally when I do a map explore, I try to set it up in such a way where I can reduce it to like a ring so that I can go in one direction and end up seeing everything, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that here. And it, because I'm being pulled in so many directions at once and I have no idea which way to go first or what will be important or where any of this ends up, it makes it feel like this place is endless, like I could be wandering here forever if I'm not careful. Thought I heard something. And this. Now, part of the... If you Google liminal space, 
the definition that's going to come up is going to tell you that it has to do with a transitional space. Now, obviously, there's a lot of argument over what actually plays into the aesthetic, but you'll always hear the term transitional space. I've just come out of the hallway and into a room. Or at least I think it's a room. It's textured like the room that I left. It has furniture in it, but it's behaving like a hallway. Oh, this is so eerie. And like I said earlier, that drone, the drone of the electrical lights is really starting to get to me. And so far, we've seen no windows to the outside. So it's like when you come out of a movie theater, how you feel like it has to be night. When you come out to the daylight, it's extremely off-putting. I'm gonna see what's over here first. There is no exit. Yeah, I kind of figured that. And see, there's a stain on the floor, which stands out knowing how pristine the rest of this carpet is. And there's another stain. Yeah, the janitor's kind of not doing a great job in this area. And once again, I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions. I'm obviously going to have to be leaving the doors open to mark my path, but I'm not sure if it's a thing in the Source Engine where doors close automatically after a time. There's the blood bucket. I really do feel like a rat in a maze on this map. See, here's the thing. You have... Uh, part of it, I think, is wondering just what a space could even have been used for. So here we have just this room that goes all the way to the back there, and this little sofa that just points straight into this dark whatever this is. It's almost like the goal is to sit here and wait for something. real eerie vibes looking down this way and on the wall here it looks like we have some kind of a map but to me that doesn't look like I don't like turning my back to this um, this map this doesn't look like the space that I've seen so far is that supposed to be here or is this something that exists somewhere else or is it just to screw with me I really don't know I just bumped my face into that wall because I thought, okay, what if there is an exit, but you have to platform nine and three quarters that wall and walk through it? I know it's possible because GM Liminal Hotel did it. That's how you got to the back rooms. Oh boy. See this, you just open these doors and it leads to a totally different environment from what you were just doing. Stuff like this really adds to the dreamlike quality of liminal space maps. Could have sworn. I think that was just the edge of my headset, but I could have sworn I saw something there when I came in. Okay, I feel like an interloper to a meeting I am not welcome in. I think this is the original hallway that I came into. Did I close this door? This is the room where I started, but I don't remember closing this door. That's making me uncomfortable. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little while before I take those st that staircase down. Okay, this door is locked. So I guess I should probably come over here and check this one. Ah! What is that? Got another door on my right. I'm 
See, this is strange. It's almost... This table almost feel makes it feel like whatever that is... Is like being penned in over here. Can I pick this up? No, it's too heavy. I feel like I've... I kind of feel like I've done something I shouldn't have. Okay, let's go out this way. See, this right here, being able to see directly across the hall into that other room, it makes it feel like at any time something could dart across that doorway. Uh, that, the drone of that... That sound is really starting to wear on me. Free candy, huh? I'll be back to you later. As if I trust that at all. Could really use my safety Glock right about now. See, those seats feel occupied. When seats are facing away from me, it makes them feel like they're occupied. And it doesn't help that in order to see those chairs, I had to come around these wide and long pillars that seemingly only exist to create more blind corners for me. Okay, so those doors are both that. I'm going to open this one just so that I can tell which ones are opened and which ones I've already been through. I'm going to have to install some kind of breadcrumb mod. Actually, the glow sticks from GM from uh, Ghost Hunt would actually work pretty well here. I think SWAT teams do that in real life. I think they use glow sticks to mark a door that's... See, I don't like chairs all lined up like this. When I see chairs all lined up like this, especially next to something like that, another magic vent, it makes me feel like there's a whole bunch of invisible spectators sitting there waiting for me to do something. And it feels like they've been waiting a long time. This one got up to go to the bathroom. He's going to miss it. All right. Gary was here. The Gary? The Gary. Okay, so this is just this corner. Okay, I think I'm done with this area. So the question now is, do I head all the way back? Is this back or is this? No, this is a whole new, this is a whole new loop of the hallway. Every time I think I'm almost done. Also, when I come into this room with just this one sofa on the table, I feel like I feel like something wants me to leave. Okay, these doors are uh, I'm getting a little bit unnerved by how dark these doors are, and I kind of feel like I should pull out my flashlight. But It never ends. I'm being pulled in so many different directions, it really is starting to feel like this place is just endless. Locked. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for locked doors. I've been through here already, which means I've already been through here. Yes, this is the start. Okay, okay. I'm kind of starting to make sense of it. So now, I'm going to go check out the magic vent. Against my better judgment. You know I don't like to use my knees. <sighs> uh, 
Wow, this actually is quite an experience in VR. I feel like John McClane only nowhere near as powerful. Is this... Hey guys, long time no see. Oh. Alrighty. Come on. Come on, which one of these controls turns off this? Okay. <sighs> well, now that you've all gotten the chance to see just how out of shape I am, let's go to that big hall. I think it was this way. Yes. Doesn't it feel like a trap? It's the most well-lit, most inviting room we've seen yet. But there's something ominous about it. It's almost too inviting. You know I have to go to the end first. See, that's another thing. It's pristine, but irregular. So you see here we have two doors on the right, but only one door on the left. The only imperfection. goes down to the same place as the other one, I bet. Okay, let's try these other doors first. These little moldings and panelings are something I really want to appreciate. He was talking a little bit about this in the Discord, the creator, how annoying it is to do these, but I really do think they add a lot to the map, so I'm really glad he took the time to make these. Now it's a little different. Now, there's more. There's just more office. What is that? See, it's using the same textures as the office space before, but now it's creating these irregular structures using that same look. Which really adds to the dreamlike tone that these spaces represent. I don't like how dark it is in here. I don't like how dark it is in here. That feels like a trap. What, what is all this? <laughs> uh, I should be disturbed, but instead I'm just entertained by the funhouse mirror. Mm. <laughs> uh, I had enough of this. Now this does... Is there a light flickering somewhere? Maybe this one? That is a dark corner. This doesn't come down from where that other area was, does it? I hope it does. Okay, yes. Yes. Windows. I can't see anything outside, but 
See, this this is the movie theater feeling I was talking about. I've felt like it has to be night. The dim lighting and the shadows, it makes it feel like it's night. So it creates such a disconnect when you come and see it was actually day the whole time. Then again, after what I've seen of this place, I kind of don't trust anything I see, so... Maybe those windows are only as good as themselves. I don't really take anything at face value at this point. Oh my god, there's that thing again. Nope! That's not just artwork, that is a diagram of what I'm doing. And this is something that I love in maps. It is truly dark in here. There is no ambient light. The only thing I can see is what's illuminated by my flashlight. Come on. There we go. Ugh. Okay, that comes out into here. And look, the spilled paint buckets. Now what that does is it makes it feel like there's someone else here, someone that I just missed who doesn't want me to know that they're sharing the space with me. Okay, so I can open doors with my left hand. It's just a little bit more difficult. I wish I had known that when I was playing Ashbell. Come on. Maybe I spoke too soon? There we go. Another one of these daylight areas. But see, the fact that I can't see past these windows makes me feel like if I were to take a wrench or something and just smash this window, what I would find on the other side is just a black expanse of nothing. Against all logic. I don't think I've seen this before. Oh no, I have seen this before, yes. Okay, so down here is where I came before. On my left is the dark room. Don't like even looking at that. left to go but I don't like now I think those are reflections but I don't like the way it seems like there's something moving back there behind that frosted glass and the way these squares are cut into the cement and the concrete it, it makes it to me it almost gives the look of morgue lockers What just happened? I thought I just heard something. Maybe that was in real life. Don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> more, more of that. Have I found you? Is this where you live? But the way this artwork is... With the way it's working out, it almost kind of starts to make me feel like... There is actually something else here with me, but that it wants... It actually wants me to know about it and can only express itself through the paints. 
can't actually take physical form but would like to. Funny how you'll come up with a whole story when you don't have any other information to work with. Yeah, this definitely feels like the lair of something. I'm gonna go. Don't like that! Don't like coming down a whole hallway and realizing there's nowhere else to go. I'm out. 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 So that was one out of th three. All oh, right, I forgot that I opened that door earlier. Okay, that was one out of three. Imagine if I hadn't. Imagine if I had gone through all that and came back and found evidence that someone had been through here in the few minutes since I was last here. Oh, joy de joy de joy. That is a blood stain. This almost feels like somebody... This almost feels like somebody who was a previous occupant of this maze decided to scribble what they were feeling sitting in that chair and then was taken from behind by something that didn't like it. Ugh. Nope, do nope, do nope, do nope, do nope, do nope. Uh, I really don't like the shadow that's cast on the opposite wall when I point this beam. Can't help but notice that, that texture on the door looks a little like the faces I've been seeing. I doubt that's intentional, but still. Okay, I'm content to have small rooms. See, graffiti like that is interesting to me because it indicates I am not the first person to be trapped in this labyrinth. Oh, I don't like these angled corners. Ugh. Angled dark corners that feel like I'm being led to something. Even worse, even worse than that, being led to nothing. Being led to nothing is way worse than being led to something. I had like an instinct to turn and slam the door because it's like when you go downstairs at night for a snack and you, after you turn off the lights, you feel the need to run up the stairs, but as you do, you feel chased. That was what it was like coming out of there. Okay, one left and then we can head downstairs. I guess we're entering the metro now. What is this? See, this feels like it would, at one point, have had water features. And there's another map. But it, again, it doesn't really look like anything I've seen. Or maybe it does. Maybe this is the locked door. Maybe this is the locked door, and over here is that hallway, and then this door would lead to the main hall that I just came from, that this whole thing branches off of. Maybe that's what I'm looking at. I gotta say, the bump mapping and the debris on the ground looks really great in VR. But to come across such a dirty room in an otherwise such pristine location, 
I'm actually gonna close this and then open it again the other way because I don't want to have doors jutting out into the hall when I come back. Now this goes down into... I hate you. Papa Schlup, I hate you. I'm kind of wondering if you maybe watched my gaming phobias video because you sure are hitting a lot of them. You're really going to make me immerse myself in water? You know, I mentioned in the Asheville video that when you step into water in VR, it, it does hit a little differently. When, As you can see your legs going under, as you can see the ripples going out, I almost kind of feel the cold chill. And it looks like this is going to be a little deeper than in Asheville. It actually is, like, up to my waist. Oh, man. And the light on the far corner is out, so it gets even darker. <sighs> Wading through water that's waist-high is bad enough in regular games, but in VR... This is really spooky. I don't like how the water almost looks like it's bubbling there. Although I suppose that could just be the surface texture doing its thing. I don't know why I'm coming all the way down to this corner. I can clearly see that there's nothing else here, but... Oh, thank Christ for that ladder. Imagine turning around and there was actually something here coming for me. It would be even scarier because... It would be even scarier for something to sneak up on you in there because you'll realize only afterwards that it didn't make any splashing sound when it entered the water with you. Okay, I'm out of here. I am ready to move on. Alright, let's head on down. I feel like if we were to analyze the actual, like, height levels, the locations of windows and skylights would not be consistent with a coherent structure. Just down into more hallways. But this time, no doors. This time, no doors, and it's a linear path. I definitely feel like I'm being corralled right now and forced down a specific path. See, look at this. These pristine walls, good lighting, but oppressive concrete floor. Left first. Interior out of place. Sorry, out of place interior windows. Definitely a source of discomfort. As. I am now about ten times more disturbed by this map. I am now about ten times more disturbed by this map. Let me open this out this way so I can see that I've been here. But so that it's not obstructing the hall. Open. Nothing. Open. Nothing. Okay. Oh, I don't like how tight these corridors have suddenly gotten. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's about what I'm asking right now. Oh man, I feel I feel like the implication here is that somebody ended up trapped down here in these narrow hallways, not even office cubicles. Drywall office cubicles. Not even cubicles, just the blind corner room. 
This place makes no sense. No, no, it does not. And I think I can kind of accept my head cannon as just regular cannon now. I am not the first person to be stuck in here. Alright. I don't see any other... Was there anything in that corner? I don't even remember. There was. There was a door. Oh, come on. Okay. Close that. Open it this way. What is this? I don't like this at all. I don't like this maze. Okay, this is where I was before. Left or right? Uh, I guess I'll just keep going this way. See, I'm trying to see everything, but at the same time... Uh, rat. I'm a rat in a maze. There's where I came from. Here's where I didn't come from. Here, I am hoping... Yes, okay, this is where I came down before. Okay. A little bit of a sense of direction reestablished. Starting to relax a little bit. God, I am sweating so much. Outdoors. A courtyard? And there's that map again. I still can't make any sense of what this one is. Unless... Maybe this is that main hall that all those other doors branched out from. Oh, this is strange. I feel watched from those windows. Like there's multiple crouched figures just peering at me through the gaps in the plywood board that covers it. And the way the sun casts a shaft just down that 45 degree angle. Actually, it's more like coming from this way. Uh. And this is the only place the hum of the lights has kind of started to dim a little bit or dull. Just look at that. Just take in that image. I think the only place I have left to go... Oh, that sounds so loud now by comparison. The only place left to go is to make my way back through this maze. And come down this way. I think there also might have been more that way. See, that makes no sense. There's got to be rooms past there, right? This feels like almost like some kind of lobby. But there's no features to it. I feel like something like this. I feel like liminal spaces a lot of the time feel almost like if aliens observed Earth, didn't really understand any of what they were seeing, and decided to construct like a human habitat. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. It's still too. That door closed as well. Ugh. Don't really have time to think about that. Oh, more mazes. This map has more maze than a cornfield. just loops in on its oh no it does continue but have I already seen all this I can't even tell no it doesn't look like it this comes into here okay so at least we're making progress on that front that pile of dirt is very very suspicious Actually, when I turn and see that, just how out of place a pile of dirt is, it almost makes me feel like I'm supposed to be looking at that so that I'll approach looking down and then something ambushes me from around the corner. 
Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. There's another map. No, I don't think that's this. But I'm not sure. I wonder if these maps will actually lead to some kind of secrets hidden on this map. I'm kind of trying to think if this looks like anything familiar that I've seen. Maybe it's not supposed to show me something. Maybe these maps are just to be leftovers from survivors who tried to figure out where they had been before. It happened again. Okay, so that's... Uh, screw this place, screw this place, screw this place. So that was GM Schlup Liminal, and absolutely fantastic job. It really incorporates so many aspects of the discussion surrounding liminal aesthetics, and it managed to thoroughly unnerve me throughout. Just to give you an idea, I have no idea how long I've been recording for. It honestly feels like... I'll check right now. It's just about to hit an hour's worth of recording. I had... It feels like I've been in here for days. That's the power of this map, at least when it's played in VR. I, I can't recommend this map highly enough. I'm going to do my usual thing and no clip around to try and see if there's anything that I missed, but I'm not going to show you guys that. I want to encourage you to check this map out at the Steam Workshop link in the description and look around for yourself, because I really do think this map deserves a lot more attention. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content, and as always, I will see you in the next one.